this is Allah's blessings to me. Nobody did this before me. They shut the doors on the masjid to me today. Tomorrow they'll regret it. Yes. Uh, Shaykh, uh, Allah says that He's revealed the Quran and He's protected it. Uh, but you mentioned that there's uh, been a mistake with the Zair and the Zabr uh, in the Quran. Okay. Uh, how can we say that uh, it's been protected and preserved uh, okay. if this is the case? Have I ever said that there is a mistake in the Quran? Yes or no? No. Yes or no? No. Have I ever said that there is a mistake in the Quran? No. Yes or no? No. 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 The markings. I am asking you for the third time. Have I ever said that there is a mistake in the Quran? Yes or no? No. Have I? No. No. I'm asking you. You're the one asking the question. You said there should be a zubar whether... You refuse to answer me. You're refusing to answer me. I don't know what to do. I have never said that there's a mistake in the Quran. If you believe I've done that, then give me the proof. I'm waiting. Give me the proof that I have ever said that there's a mistake in the Quran. You see, my language is going to be harsh now. A fool, a Rashid, where even a, the angel, an angel fears to tread. A fool with Rashid. The patient, the Zabar and the Zera called Tashkil. Right? Zabar and Zera and patient. Answer me, when Allah sent down the Quran, with Jibra'il al-Islam. Did he send it down with Tashkil? No! No! When the scribes recorded Nabi Muhammad al-Islam is dictated, when they recorded, did they write the Quran with Tashkil? No, no, no. The answer, of course, it, no, they're becoming embarrassed now. They're becoming embarrassed now. So when did the Tashkil come? Not even in the time of the companions. Nobody in the time of the companions had Tashkil. So how can you say that the Tashkil is a part of the Quran unless you are, excuse my language, you are jackass. <laughs> How can you say that the Tashkil is a part of the Quran unless you are a jackass? Don't you have any sense in your head? Who put the Tashkil there? Was it the angel? Huh? Human beings did it. Why did they do it? I'm glad that they did it. Why? Because they helped us. We were not Arabs. And we needed help to recite the Quran. They yes, well, uh, you see, Imran Hussein, you actually did say there is a mistake in the Quran. Um, because in the Quran today, you rejected the Qira'ah, the main Qira'ah, which is in the Mus'haf, in the published Mus'haf. I'm not talking about these in the manuscripts that you find uh, errors of, uh, you know, copy, copy, er errors, copyist errors. I'm talking about the published Quran today, which is written and there's no mistake in it at all. It is transmitted orally, 100% correct. You said that in our Mus'haf that we have to, that we're reading today in between our hands, that we read in Ramadan, that we read in all the time, that we use it to worship Allah with, right? By reading it, reciting it, learning it. That Mus'haf that we're reading in our hand, you claimed that it has a mistake because the mushaf today in our hand let me just show you okay let me show you hold up the mushaf today we have this one it says it says and you said no what this mushaf says here is not it's you said which is wrong because that Qira'ah is not authentic and I challenge Imran Hussein and those who follow him you can go to nquran.com 
You can check and hear and read all the qiraat, all the ten authentic qiraat that are mutawatir, that are authentic, that are agreed by all the majority of all the scholars that these qiraat are correct. And whoever rejects one qiraat of these authentic qiraat is a kafir, is a kafir immediately. Okay, because he's rejecting the Quran. And these are the mutawatir authentic qiraat. Which mean they have been transmitted authentically, orally, right? Now, I ask him, Imran Hussein, and those who follow him, to go to nquran.com and check it. None, and they can listen to the Qur'an. None of these Qur'an, ten Qur'an, none of them say, alamun. All of them say, ilmun, this sa'a. If we go to Tafsir al-Tabari as well, you can find, he says, well, asah, and the most authentic way to, to recite it, because he's mentioning some of them, some of the scholars said that alamun is recited that way, alamun, alamun with, um, uh, you know, a uh, uh, on the ayn, right? And he says under there, well, asahu, what is most correct according to the scholars, is that the qira'ah should be ilmun, not alamun, ilmun. And that's what you have said. And if you want to continue claiming that, already we understand that you have said that the Qur'an that is between our hands, that you are reading, right? Like the Mus'haf I showed, right? The Mus'haf I showed, the blue Mus'haf I showed in my hand, it says ilmun, and you said no. Ilmun is a mistake. You know, the person who's putting the diacritical marks, Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma, right? He, you're saying that Ilmun, A with Kasra, you said that this is wrong. While it's written in that blue Mus'haf, in that Quran that we used today and read. You said that it is wrong, this is Kufr. This is rejecting the Quran. This is Kufr. This is the main Qira'ah. This is the main Qira'ah that you find in all the Masahif today. But no, this guy has an has agenda. This stupid guy, Imran Hussain, he has an agenda that looks like a parrot if you look at him, like a parrot beak. He has an agenda to do what? He has an agenda to try to prove his point into what? Into using it in his eschatology. Right, this guy is talking about the Jal, he's talking about Isa alayhi salam. So of course he's gonna reject the, the authentic Qur'an to try to prove his point. Because if he does not reject that, he will not make a conclusion. And the people will say, well, this guy is just a story, story, storyteller. Now this guy is trying to use fame, right? He's trying to use social media for fame because no one, he has no followers and alhamdulillah. I hope all his followers leave him, inshallah. And Guru the Haq. And I hope no one enters. Right? I hope no one enters from now, ever, enter to, to become his follower. And those who are his followers, I ask Allah to guide them or break their back otherwise. So they, these people have to, you know, you're saying if this guy is correct, you're a kafir, khalas, you're an infidel. And he's talking about the jet. You guys look at the previous scholars. Who, one of the previous scholars, this guy... Curses every single previous scholar. Yeah, and today the Salafis, he also curses, curses them, he curses the Saudi Arabians, and the people say, oh, don't expose his video about his private and life or this or that. This guy is a criminal. This guy is a mukhabarat. So we have to expose him. So by this, and he's using it because, subhanAllah, the Prophet Muhammad said in a hadith, he said that one day there will be a lot of people who can recite the Quran, right? And the person who can recite it, he will say, but I don't have any more followers. So he comes and makes innovations. Innovations and tries to talk and bring up heresies to open people's eyes on him. And say, how did this guy say that? To try making people point their hands, you know, point their eyes at him and focus on him. And when they focus on him, he tries to bring out all that he has. And then shaitan may mislead through him, whoever he wish, wishes. And then the other people who were against him will might one day fall into his trap because he gains followers and his followers and they start to talk gibberish and, you know, storytell, right? These false information. 
None of the scholars said what he's saying, what this guy is saying, what this Dajjal Imran Hussein is saying. None of them have said that. He's criticizing all the scholars and he's the only one person who is knowledgeable than all. This guy who cannot read Arabic. Right? They cannot read Arabic. And, you know, the only thing is, is uh, when you warn against the Dajjal and then you, you turn out to be the Dajjal himself. Right? So you have to be careful of this person. This person is very corrupt. I had to make this video. Because this guy is uh, talking nonsense again. Imran Hussein is talking nonsense again. And subhanAllah, you know, there are foolish people, like Allah says, Balhum uh, hum kal an'am, balhum adal. Right? They are like cattle. They are worse than cattle. Yani, what else can you say? Like, uh, you're a human, you have a brain, you can think li like that. And then Allah compares you to something that is worse than a cattle. Than a cattle that has no... Uh, advanced brain like the human does. Yeah, and you are worse than, than a cattle. You don't understand at all. And people will fall into these traps. Just like they fall into the Ahmadis. The, the, there are Ahmadis today that fall, fell in the trap of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and believed that he is the Messiah. Or the Mahdi. So, this is very dangerous. Right? Um... So what I have to say is that you should beware of Imran Hussein and you should not follow him at all. You should be careful of him. You leave him. Yes, he did say there is a mistake in the Quran, right? And he's trying to mix up and lie to people because he knows he's exposed. So he tries to say no, 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 no. And he tries to mix around, right? So that's all I have to say. Leave Imran Hussein. Go back to the teachings of the Salaf. As Salaf al Salih. The teaching of Salafiyya today, the saved sect. Come back to the safe sect. And leave this guy. This guy is trying to ward you off from that. He's trying to bring heresies and criticize the ulama. He, he, he didn't leave anyone he did not criticize. He criticized the Salafis, calls them Wahhabis. Najdis calls them the Dajjal followers. And Allahu A'lam, one day he may, he may even do takfir on them. And call them Kuffar. Because they follow Dajjal. And then the people, what happens is that the people who follow him and get mixed brainwashed, they start to commit terrorist actions because of this guy, Imran Hussein. Because he brainwashed him. So this guy is a Russian agent. He has a goal. The, the, you know, he calls uh, Putin Dhul Qarnayn and he praises the Kuffar and he says Hajja, uh, Hajja Sophia, the mosque should be returned to the Christians. What is this? And now he's saying the Quran is corrupt, the diacritical marks are corrupt. So now he's comparing it to the Bible. He's saying that the Bible that is written today is corrupted. Oh, he says, no, no, no. He says the Quran is not corrupted, but what is written is corrupted. That's exactly what he's saying. The Torah, the word of Allah, the gospel, the true word of Allah, the true word, the, the word that Allah re revealed to Moses directly and to his people. That this word is true, 100%, these books are true. But afterwards, they were corrupted by human hands. And now we only have the Quran today that is not corrupted by human hands. Nor was it ever corrupted. It is sent from Allah directly, and it will never be changed like the other books. And there's no mistakes in it. Neither in diacritical marks, neither in the pronunciation, nothing. It's orally transmitted. So... Um, yeah, this guy ha has an agenda, okay, has an agenda, and he is trying to brainwash Muslims, and they're following him, some of them are following him, he's trying to brainwash them to bring them to him, to attack the Salafis, the true Muslims, this is how they use you to attack the true Islam, they go mix brainwash your, 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 your you know, people, until they make you go and attack your own Muslim brothers. Or maybe well, well, I'm those who are, who are believing him, Imran Hussein says he did, not, he did not say that, are kuffar. Are kuffar, khalas, they're disbelievers. They fell into disbelief. If you say Imran Hussein was right in what he says, you're a disbeliever, khalas. Don't try to go fix, you know, cover yourself, right? And, uh, you know, try to find ways to go out. No, khalas, you're done. You're a kafir, khalas. So what I'm saying is you should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come back to the two. Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. To salafiyyah. To true salaf al-salih. And leave what this Dajjal Iman Hussein says. He keeps going crocodile tears crying around to people. 
يعني people are feeling pity on him what else because he's an old man he he's emotional he's he's trying i'm not saying he's emotional at all but he's trying to cry to people to you know people have pity on him right and they should not have pity on him.